what up traders, what up investors, Ken here from Dyslexic Investor, and we're gonna be looking at some potential things within the economy, some things that are looking at the charts here, looking at more or less the larger indices on a very large green update, the NASDAQ up nearly 3%, Tesla is up like 12%, like huge names are up quite a bit today. Is this, is, did we hit the bottom question mark? Are we going to go continue to skyrocket higher on like a V-shaped recovery? Most likely, hate to pop your bubble, we're most likely not. Um, we're not in the same market that we were back in 2020. I have said this as a broken record for many, many months now on, on trying to explain this. Um, to go into a little bit more of a breakdown of the US uh, overall economic system. So right now, and this is kind of, we'll tie in here in a second here, that 70% is consumer spending, okay? So 70% of all our GDP is me, you going to get our nails done, to get a haircut, to go f to, 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 to travel, to, to spend money doing this, to go out to eat, just consumer spending. That's us spending money to buy things, me to buy Pokemon cards, whatever. Um, that is consumer spending here. Some people would consider that an investment, but who knows? Uh, that's basically wraps up that. So that want to make, make that very clear here. At the same time, the consumption of expenditures has gone up substantially since the bottom that we saw in basically 2020 of April. So we have been spending more. Uh, we had a lot of people who got stimulus checks. A lot of people have been uh, spending that PPE money illegally, all that kind of stuff, just joking on that one. Um, on that same note, uh, the consumer spending has did drop uh, in April, but it's, it's kind of a, a month lagging indicator. Uh, it dropped sub substantially from 1.4 down to nearly 0.9, um, which again, the higher seasons is the December, January timeframe, of course, spending for the holidays, family kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. That could be in, in, in sign of, again, inflation. Inflation is also extremely high here. At the same time, we're having uh, X, uh, XLY, which is the Consumer Discretion Fund, which is basically Amazon, Tesla, McDonald's, Home Depot, Nike, Lowe's, Starbucks, Booking.com, uh, Target, uh, TAJX, but majority of the, uh, the index makes up of Amazon and Tesla, which I'm not sure why Tesla is that large proportion of that. Uh, why it's consumer spending in that. But at the same time, we're having some interesting stuff coming through on the year over year, restaurant spending growth is slowing. As you can see here from the beginning of the year, it was nearly 58% and has gone down dramatically, basically in line with correlation of inflation. Um, of course, we had S&P 500 last week, do some terrible numbers here. At the same time, we're seeing inflation nearly up at 8.6% and just not really a robust like economy that we're seeing kind of come through. Yes, we're seeing jobs claims kind of like somewhat uh, come off here. We're seeing housing prices kind of level off here, potentially looking for a free fall. But yeah, what are we going to do about it, right? Um, looking here on the charts now, looking at the S&P 500, are we looking for further downside or are we looking for a potential bottom here? I think it would be too it would be a bad justification for anyone to, to call a bottom because no one can tell the future here, but we are coming into some levels of resistance here. So that 3,600-ish uh, range is somewhat level of support here. As you can see on the weekly side, we're kind of bouncing off of this line. So this is the 200-day exponential moving average, uh, this blue line here, but this is on a weekly chart looking back five years. So in the short term, we have been in a downtrend, as you can see here, uh, highlighted with this kind of pattern going down here with the moving averages quietly steeping down. But we're just now potentially trying to feel the floor, right? We're trying to feel this out. But this is not reinforced steel, uh, nice layer brick, and they put down uh, XYZ, whatever building materials to make a, the foundation safe. This is basically made of like particle board right now. Um, and if this, if there's any strength and the bears kind of come through, we can easily snap that and continue to go lower at that level here. So this is again, this is not a, 
a huge level of, of resist or support to the downside. This is just like, eh, let me just dip my toes in the water and let's see how it plays out um, with uh, the overall market. Um, for my, my, my stance, I think there's still uh, a lot more uh, downside that we could see, um, especially if we go to the NASDAQ. So this is again, like the tech heavy st uh, uh, stuff that we're seeing it again, hit around that 200 EMA here. We saw that, what would did see that pattern kind of play out here during the bottom here, during the pandemic. We saw that as well with the bottom here that we saw within the pricing of the goods for uh, the 2018, uh, when the Fed was trying to raise interest rates for the first time and since the great recession of the housing crisis. We had a lot of people run, run and sell everything. And then we had that bottom on Christmas Eve, and then we kind of made a nice little bounce back from there. But is this this is no no stance where I'm just like backing up the truck and just buying everything I can here to really see this to hold here. We would need to see this hold for quite some time here and really break through any kind of levels for the bears to be continue to play out would be above twelve thousand to almost 13,000 uh, points uh, within the NASDAQ here. Because uh, the 21 EMA is still aggressively pointing down here. Um, and this is not gonna be a V-shaped recovery. This is more likely gonna be uh, a W or even worse, like an L. Uh, but what I mean by that is a W would kind of go like this, bounce back up, maybe retest the bottoms, even go lower, and then make it another new high. That's, that, that's, that's common as well. That's a little bit more common than usual than the v-shape recovery the v-shape recovery is just literally the the fed right here just decided to just to print just to print money and really just kind of save us from a collapse which i'm not going to fault them for that they did what the best they could air quotes um at the same time here coming in for an l shape um i potentially could see us bouncing around for quite some time and within the correlation of whoops in the correlation of the gas uh so we look at oil right oil is breaking out still kind of holding around this 130 level here potentially coming back down to 104 a barrels a hundred dollars 104 dollars a barrel here um but this is a very strong uptrend here we have not topped in oil once we kind of top an oil and oil kind of rolls over i think that could be uh, a, a a sense of hey maybe it's time to uh, to buy here or maybe start looking into this. At the same time, we can also point at this at the VIX. Um, I don't think we're gonna see an 85 in the VIX, but this VIX has been kind of highly spiked over the last coming months, especially this whole year of 2022. Uh, we're seeing it really kind of trying to perk its way up here. I think if we can get one more blow higher here, and really get that 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 pain to kind of come through and get some really really aggressive selling. I mean I mean like crazy aggressive selling here. Uh, and I can show you that on the Nasdaq chart um, when we go back on like a monthly side, we need almost like the super large red candles that we're seeing here for like consecutive three or four months. We're seeing again. We, yeah, we did have that big one kind of leveled out here had another two big ones but again these are a little hit and miss i think with the overall elections coming up uh for uh, midterm elections here in the united states and the basically after summer would be around that october november time frame when things get really hot and spicy there i think that potentially could be a level which we could see a bottom in this market and that's what my uh, overall bets are being played. I'm not adding too much money to much of anything now until I start seeing some stronger things unfold or I see some kind of more uh, fight back in the market. But on that note, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.